Hello and welcome to Science with Juniors. I am scientist Radhi Krishnan or otherwise famously known as SRK and this is my assistant Bini. Sorry professor I'm late but there is a dust storm outside. It almost blew away your test papers. Ah, I see. So the culprit must be westerly and that's because we are westerly? No, no, Professor. It was the wind that I was talking about. Of course, Bini. Westerlies are winds that blow from west to the east. Winds have names and directions. And speed and velocity as well. Come, let's enter the virtual world to get to know them better. Classification and causes of winds. In this module, you will learn about classification and causes of winds. Let's watch the mighty air power. Wind is air in motion. The wind moves because the earth's surface is heated differently in different places. Difference in temperature causes difference in pressure. Air moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas causing winds. Direction and speed are two important aspects of winds. Winds direction is influenced by the location of the pressure areas and rotation of the earth. Viola, this wind moves with speed and purpose. Another important fact Wind velocity or speed depends on the difference and pressure between two points. Do you know how wind direction is found? Simply the wind direction can be shown by a freely moving pointer on a wind vane. If the wind is blowing from the east, the pointer will point to the east. Wind direction is usually given by referring to the four compass points North, South, East and West. Have you heard of roses? Of course, yes. But what about wind roses? A wind rose is a graph made by plotting the wind direction for each day of the month. Now back into the real world. Winds are an everyday phenomenon. When air moves, it's called wind. But how does it move? Why does it move, Professor? Did you not pay attention, Binny? Always remember, winds blow from high pressure area to low pressure areas. Isn't that fun? It can be a limerick. You can make a song out of it. Winds that blow from high to low, if you do not know, how will you grow from grade to grade? Oh, Professor, sorry to interrupt you, but you were talking about high and low pressure points. Oh yes, well, yes, winds are born when the earth's temperature varies to produce high and low pressure points. When it heats up, air rises and when it cools, air becomes heavy and rushes to take the place vacated by the warm air. Oh, I see now. Yes, and they are so much fun to follow. Winds that blowing outside right now could have had their origins in the equator. Come, let's find out where they come from and what they are called in the virtual world. Let's classify these invisible winds. Winds can be classified as planetary or permanent winds seasonal or periodic winds and local winds. Planetary or permanent winds blow regularly in a particular direction throughout the year. That's busy air traffic. Hey, what creates these winds? Planetary and permanent winds are caused due to the great global air currents. There are three types. Trade winds, westerlies and polar easterlies. Tighten your seat belts for a tropical trip. Trade winds blow from subtropical high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt. Back from the virtual world into the real. Ah, these winds blowing outside remind me 
how I used to fly a kite as a boy. And you know, you don't need strong winds for that. My favorite kite was the color of... Professor, you were talking of strong winds. Oh yes, Binny. You see, when winds blow really hard, they can become hurricanes or a tornadoes. A tornado, Professor? Those are really destructive, aren't they? Oh yes, Binny. Strongest winds are inside a tornado and they can go as fast as 480 kilometers per hour. Oh, I hope I never get in the way of one, Professor. Binny, tornadoes are so much fun to watch. But yes, they can change direction really quickly. So better to keep a safe distance. And now, let's get back into, into the virtual world to figure out the direction that winds take and why. The direction of the wind changes due to the rotation of the Earth. It blows to the right of the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Seasonal or periodic winds reverse their direction periodically due to changes in the atmospheric conditions. The main types of seasonal winds are monsoon winds, land breeze and sea breeze. Changes in temperature in local areas cause local winds. Some local winds are Chinook, Fawn and Hamilton Cool. So, winding down, what did you learn, Binny? Professor, this means that winds will be around as long as there is temperature difference. Or as long as you have the sun. Very good, Binny. It is the temperature difference that makes all the difference in pressure. Now let me tell you what pressure difference can actually do. Do you know why are roofs blown off in the wind? Not exactly, Professor. Now that you know that wind blows from high pressure to low pressure, this phenomenon will be easier to explain. When an area gets heat, the air above them warms and then rises as it becomes lighter than the surrounding air. This creates an area of low pressure. Now roofs that are not firmly fixed get blown away when a strong wind blows because the pressure on the top of the roof is lower than the pressure below. So the winds rush up to the area of low pressure and take the roof with it as it gets dislodged because of the pressure applied to it. And now it's time to give a blow-by-blow -blow account of what you have learned today. Let's summarize. Wind is air in motion. The wind moves because the Earth's surface is heated differently in different places. Air moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas causing winds. With reference to the movement of air over the surface of the Earth, wind direction refers to the direction from which wind is blowing. The wind direction can be shown by a freely moving pointer on a vane. If the wind is blowing from the east, the pointer will point to the east. Wind direction is usually given by referring to the four compass points, north, south, east and west. A wind rose is a graph made by plotting the wind direction for each day of the month. Direction and speed are two main aspects of wind. Wind velocity or speed depends on the difference and pressure between two points. Winds can be classified as planetary or permanent winds, seasonal or periodic and local winds. Planetary winds are caused due to great global currents. Seasonal winds reverse their direction periodically due to changes in the atmospheric conditions. Local winds are caused due to changes in temperature in local areas. Well, that's all we have for you in our discussion on winds. 
Hope the next time it blows, you will think more about where it comes from, where it will go and how much energy it carries with it. Professor, the winds carry energy? You mean like windmills? Oh yes! But even more exciting things than windmills can happen using wind energy. In fact, 14 miles per hour of average wind speed is enough to convert wind energy to electricity. Isn't that amazing? With that, we leave you to think some more until we meet next time. Goodbye!